In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can replicate the Top Gun Maverick aircraft carrier from the movie in twin motion 100% free. Okay, so today I'm going to show you exactly how we can recreate this Top Gun aircraft carrier. Basically, we're going to be using twin motion and a series of free objects downloaded off the internet to be able to replicate exactly what you see here before you today. Now, it may seem extremely complicated on the get-go, but I guarantee you it is extremely easy. Now, so I can show you exactly what I did here, we're gonna go by file, new scene, and completely start again. No, I do not wanna save anything that I've created in Twin Motion, which is a shame, but that's okay. So what we're gonna start by doing is going down to settings in the bottom left-hand corner, coming across the location, going to background, and getting rid of our background entirely. We don't need a background because we are in the middle of the ocean. Now, if we come back to settings, Go to weather, effects, and turn our ocean on. We'll start to see quickly how we create this scene. I do wanna change this from a clear river to the Atlantic Ocean, so it's nice, deep, dark blue. And if we just pan around, we see incredible, endless nothingness, just water. Next, we're gonna introduce our sky dome. So if we come in all the way across, go to our sky dome object, I'm gonna pick a morning, afternoon, cloudy, just a random sky. You can select whichever one you think is right for you. I'm gonna put in MOAF Cloudy 32, drag, drop, and let Twin Motion basically put that into the scene. So as you can see, that entire scene has very quickly changed to something a little bit more photorealistic. So all of these objects are basically found on sketchfab.com. I'll leave a link down in the description to them all below. But if you simply type in aircraft carrier, you'll see a number of free and paid for resources that you can use to basically replicate what I'm showing you here today. That's the one I used. Again, it is in the description down below. So now if we come back to Twin Motion and we import a brand new object, Let's go open carrier and use that Gerald FBX. I'm gonna keep the hierarchy. I'm gonna fix the UV and textures, up axes auto and conversion units auto, and then I'm gonna import that carrier. So if I fly around a little bit, we're gonna see a very big plain white box dropped in too low into our scene. So what I'm gonna do is slowly just drag that up out of the water so it sits where it needs to. And then I'm gonna click on my little material selector tool, click on the boat, come down to color more, empty texture open, and I'm gonna find the main material of that boat. So I think for twin motion, the main material is the diffuse. So if I open that up, it'll automatically put that texture onto our boat and we're basically ready to go. Now, if we wanna go into a bit more detail, we can continue it going to the, into the settings, opening up the metallicness, turning that on, and then replacing that with our metallic texture, opening that and also changing our bump across to the normal so we get a bit more texture. And that's how quickly and easily we can introduce our aircraft carrier into twin motion. We're gonna repeat those same steps for the aircraft. So open back into my downloads, let's find this F-14 which was referenced in the movie and repeat those same steps. And there we go, now we've introduced our F-14 directly into this space. What you'll see is a lot of the objects and materials seem like they're missing. So we wanna, again, click on that material, go into settings and turn two-sided on so we see everything from both sides all the time. But now we have our F-14, I'm gonna repeat those same steps for the other airplanes that I downloaded, which includes the F-18, F-35, and just a random jet fighter as well. And there we go, now we've imported three of our jets into this aircraft carrier and lined them up. All we wanna do now is basically go around, spread them anywhere we want on this aircraft carrier to be able to create the scene that we're looking for. With these catapults that we see here on the aircraft carrier, you also see the flaps that we saw in the movie that come up. So we can type minus 45 to basically deflect any of that jet engine propulsion and protect anybody behind this scene. So if we were trying to create a photorealistic scene, we'd definitely be introducing these at a 45 or even 90 degree angle to protect our people below. Generally speaking, I know very little about the army, the navy, or any military items, but what I do know is they look like catapult launch pads, as do they, and that looks like a landing strip. So we can basically create our scene based around those elements there, 
And if we click on these sections here that I outlined, they come up in our finder as elevators. So if we wanted to drag this down all the way, we could basically introduce an elevator pit, duplicate our plane across, have two planes and dive into our elevator pit that basically looks identical to what we saw in the film itself. If you want, you can even come back into the vehicles and the aircrafts in twin motion, introduce some helicopters and basically plant them wherever you see fit. So if I wanted three helicopters here, for example, I could just replicate them over and over again until I had plenty of helicopters perfectly aligned on my aircraft carrier. And that's all from me today. I'll see you next Monday.